Hi, this is Lady Lex UK and this is a Dreams Gadget tutorial. Today we're looking at two gadgets. We're looking at the splitter and the combiner. And the reason that we're doing both of them together is because they're basically the opposite of each other. So they cover sort of the same ground, but in reverse. So we'll start off with the splitter. Uh, now, normally at this point, I start going through the tweak menu for this gadget. Uh, but this doesn't really have a tweak menu. Um, it has an input and various outputs, and these will change depending on what your input actually is. There are no buttons and sliders and things inside um, the splitter's tweak menu for you to alter. So um, I'm not really going to be looking at the tweak menu today. I'm just going to show you what the splitter does. So what does it do? Right, let me create an input. So I've got a controller sensor here. Now, normally at this point, I start deleting these wires so that I've got a nice blank slate. Uh, but I'm going to leave them in for, for now because this demonstrates the two different types of wire that you might get in Dreams. And you might have noticed this or you might not have. Uh, but their wires are not the same. Some wires are single coloured. Little thin wire. This is going from ISDED to the controller sensor. It's a thin wire. This is just a single wire. This one is multicolored. It's like a twisted flex of multicolored uh, wires. Now, the reason is that is a fat wire and that is just a standard wire. And the fat wire is got lots of wires attached to it. Lots of information is being sent, all twisted up together and being sent uh, along this wire. So there's more than just one piece of information. So if you wire a single wire, into a splitter. Uh, what it does is it creates what is known as a boolean. So what it's doing is um, finding a one or a zero result from this wire and that's it. And you can wire that out to something. Uh, not really much different than if you wired it directly. So there's no point in putting a single wire into a splitter um, because all it's going to do is create this um, this boolean here uh, but you might have um, some complicated bit of uh, programming so it doesn't know whether it's going to get a fat wire or a single wire so uh, this is what will appear if it turns out to be a single wire so um, that's why it's there but if we put the fat wire in you'll notice what it opens up to lots and lots of different outputs uh, now, uh, most of the buttons do this. Um, now, I'm not going to explain all of these little in, in, ins and outs because, to be honest, the, the, the buttons, uh, they um, open up to um, things to do with uh, players and controller colours and not player-owned and things like that. So, um, most of it's to do with multiplayer, which we don't have yet. So I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to use that as an example today because I don't want to confuse. Also, it, they don't currently do very much that you're going to use. So instead, I'm going to use the motion sensor. And you'll notice you can't really tell whether it's going to be a fat wire until you've actually wired it. But there we go. So here is our motion sensor wire. And as you can see, it's got three different colors and it has split into three outputs, A, B and C. So let's turn this into remote controllable so that we can see. And we'll put some number displayers down. So let's put that one there. That one there and put that one there. Uh, turn it on and wire these up so that they're going to display. And as you can see, as I move my imp around, these numbers are moving around, but we're only seeing zero, zero minus zero. It's like, well, it's not doing anything. What, what's the point of this? Okay, well, it's because. <laughs> We're not seeing enough decibel places. As soon as I do this, suddenly uh, it all becomes a little bit more animated. Lots and lots of numbers. So what are these numbers? What's it doing? Right. Um, this has split into um, 
Number value A, B and C, which in the case of the motion sensor appears to be X, Y and I'm, I would have thought the Z coordinate, the Z coordinate down here, but I'm not going in and out of the level. So I'm not 100% sure what this number is unless it's a combination of these two. Anyway, um, this is X and Y. So if I go right at the very top, you can see it's showing, I can get it a little bit further over to the left. Yeah. There we go, I'm in the centre of the screen at the very top. It's sort of 264, 265 at the top there. And if I go down to the bottom, it's minus 270. There we are. 271. So there we are. That's giving me a coordinate. If I move this down, does that make any difference? Not really, no. Okay, so just to make sure. Um, there we go. So that's the coordinates. Does it make a difference if I move this up? No, it just coordinates on the screen. Right, so that's the coordinates on the screen of... Uh, I would say that it's X, Y and Z, but it looks as if it's Y, X and something else so these are the y coordinates these are the x coordinates and this is something else so this this imp is moving around and giving us a number so you could use these numbers to determine whereabouts your imp is on the screen but the important thing is this has split this fat wire that's what it's done. It split its fat wire into its component parts, which is this three number values, which it hasn't labeled as X, Y, and Z. So, um, a little confused about that, but it doesn't. Let's get rid of that. Um, now we're going to try something else. Uh, I'm going to put a text display in and I'm going to wire this color output and you can see immediately it now knows that this wire is sending RGB values, red, green and blue values. So let's turn that on. So these are the RGB values. So if I make that white, it's all 111. And there we go. There's, there's a new set of numbers and I can move this around. You get another set of numbers for each of these colours. And these are the colour values for that purple as split into RGB. So um, that could be very useful uh, to know. Um, if you wanted to know what colours that you were using, maybe you wanted to uh, reconstruct something on your PC and you wanted to make sure you got exactly the same colour. Well, you can split up the RGB numbers and there they are so that's handy for that so that's what the splitter does it divides the fat wire up into its component parts whatever they might be now the combiner if i find the combiner gadget this does exactly what you'd expect this does the opposite so this takes um single wires and makes them into a fat wire like so and you've got these various um easy options that you can click on and um, that it's going to recognize so there's the color one so if i put, stick that on turn that off it's looking for r g b so there's our r g and b and here is our fat wire which we can put into our text displayer. So without selecting that, let's change the color to black, sort of purpley black there. And now go into this, you'll notice it's the same color. I haven't got them both selected, 
they were all they were both changed together now because the output of this combiner is the same as this there you are so you can see that um, this fat wire is the same as this fat wire here these are identical because this, I've split it and then I've combined it so you could combine the RGB from two different separate objects and put them into our combiner and, and get a colour. All sorts of things that you could do with that. Um, so other options, you've got transform. Let's, let's have a look and see what transform is. There we go. Again, three options, translation, rotation and scale. Um, you would get that sort of information um, out of, I think, a tag might have that. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. They're the same. So these are translation, rotation, and scale. Uh, this is to do with the position, uh, the orientation of it, and the size of it. And you could put th that information and combine and make a fat wire, which would be identical to this wire. So you can combine multiple uh, numbers and information and wires to make your fat wire. Um, so you can send the information through um, to, to certain gadgets. Um, now, it is an advanced skill knowing why you would want to combine um, to make your own fat wire. Uh, most of you will, won't really need uh, to do very much of this at all uh, if you're just starting out in dreams and you're just making things. So this is a sort of an advanced thing um, that uh, it's good to know what it does, but don't worry uh, if you're not using it. Um, it's probably not something you're going I haven't used it yet, put it that way. Um, I've made quite a few things and I haven't needed to use a combiner yet. So, um, but this shows you the sort of things that are available. This is, so X, Y, Z, W. And that is for spice and randomization. So that's to do with music. Signal, a positive or an, and a negative. Again, music, volume, note, spiciness, all of this information. Rotation, X, Y, Z coordinates. The sticks, X and Y, that's what they divide up to. Uh, a number, it's either going to be a positive or a negative. And you can have up to uh, H, up to H. So eight uh, options to make up a fat wire, and that's your that's your lot. And there we go. So that is what the combiner and splitter do. They make and split fat wires so that you can send information, exactly the sort of information that you want and need for each of your gadgets. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope that was helpful, and I'll catch you in your dreams.